Hi everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to make this koala bear. He is rather large, but I did make a smaller one. So comment down below if you want to see the smaller version as well. For this guy, you're going to need about 1,250 gray bands. You're going to need a thousand bands for the body color. If you want, make the feet in the same as the body color. And uh, for my video, I'm going to be using two rows of the yellow and two rows of the neon green. I would love to see what combo colors you come up with. I am so not great with colors. You're going to also need about 20 black bands for the eyes, nose, and the mouth. I am going to be using the two 9mm black pony beads for the eyes though. I'm going to use just my hook, so we're going to crochet this today. And I'm going to use some stuffing to fill it. And that's it, I'm going to get started. For round one of the leg, what we're going to do is five single crochets in the magic ring. So I'm going to use six rubber bands. I'm going to use the bottom part of my loom, turn it upside down. You're going to take one rubber band, use the bottom part of your loom on one peg and wrap it around three times. One, two, and three. Now with your hook, you're going to go inside the band here, grab one rubber band and bring it through as if you're doing a slip knot. Put on your hook, grab this band and bring it over. Bring it to the side. Go back in for our second band, bring it through, grab the end, put it on your hook, and now you'll have three loops. Bring these two bands over and bring it to the side. Go back in using our third band, bring it through, grab these two loops and bring it over and bring it to the side. Go back in for our fourth, bring it through on your hook and these two bands over. And for our fifth, go in, bring it through, put on your hook, and bring these two bands over. You can add your stitch marker. I'm using the C-clip. Attach it to the band that's around your hook and remove off the loom. I'm going to move my bands around so that they're nice and even. And you should have five stitches. One, two, three, four, and the one on your hook is five. For round two of the leg, what we're going to do is increase on every stitch. So I have five sections because I have five stitches. On each one of them, I put an extra band. So we're going to be adding two bands to each stitch. So you're just going to add two, 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 two. So we're increasing this round, so we're making it bigger. So at the end of this round, you're going to have ten stitches. So just go in your first stitch, so you're going through these two loops here. You're going to grab one rubber band and bring it through those two, so those, that stitch there, and put it on your hook. So now you have three and slide it through. Go back in that same stitch with your next rubber band. So you just put two rubber bands through that one stitch and slide it through. Going to the next stitch, you're going to add two rubber bands one at a time. One, go back in with two. Going in the next stitch, again adding two rubber bands one at a time. One, and then go back in with our second. The next stitch, adding two. back in and where my c-clip is is my last stitch so I'm gonna add two rubber bands one and going back in two so now we should have ten stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine and the one on your hook is ten 
I'm going to remove my C-clip and add it to the band that's around my hook. I'm going to move the bands around. For round three of the leg, what we're going to do is increase on every second stitch. So this is the pattern. You're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two. You're repeating this pattern five times. So going in your first stitch, you're going to add one rubber band. So we're making this round bigger. So at the end of this round, you're going to have 15 stitches. So that was one in the first chain. Now going to the second chain, you're going to add two rubber bands, one at a time. One, going back in, two. Starting again, our next chain, we're going to count as one with one rubber band. Then our second chain will have two. One, going back in with two. Again, repeating one. Our next chain will have two. And starting again, one. Our next chain, two. And I'm at my last two chains, so starting again, one. And where your C clip is or your stitch marker, you're adding two. One, going back in, two. So you should have 15 stitches now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The one on your hook is 15. I'm gonna remove my C-clip and attach it to the band around my hook. The leg, what we're going to do is increase on every third stitch. So that means we're going to go one, one, two, one, one, two. You're gonna repeat this pattern five times. So you can see how I set it up. One, one, two, one, one, two. At the end, you'll have 20 stitches. And at the last one where your stitch marker is, you'll be adding two rubber bands. So going in my first stitch, not where it's getting pulled because that stitch is being used. So our first stitch, adding one rubber band and bring it through. Our next stitch, one. And our third stitch, we're adding two rubber bands, one at a time. One and going back in with one. So I just went one, one, two. Start again, one in your next chain, one in your next chain, and then adding two in your third. One, and going back in, two. And repeat again, one, one, two. Going back in, and start again, one, one, and two. And again, one, one, and two. You should have 20 stitches. You just move it around. You can count the stitches. Just never count where you have your stitch marker. Count the next one. One, two, three, all the way around. And your the 20th should be on your hook. After you count, you can remove your stitch marker and add it to the band around your hook. 
For round five and six, what we're going to do is single crochet in each chain around. So you're just going to add a single band in each chain. So it's just one, 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 all the way around. At the end of each round, you're gonna have 20 stitches. I'm gonna do the first round with you and then you're gonna pause the video and do the second round by yourself. So I'm gonna go on my first chain and I'm gonna add one rubber band. In my next chain, one, all the way around. One. So right now in each pile, I have 20 bands. So now we are not making the circle bigger. We're just growing up now. Go all the way around, just adding one rubber band to each chain. Now you should have 20 stitches. I'm going to remove my stitch marker, add it to the band around my hook, and now you can pause the video and do the next round and then come back to me when you're done. For round seven of the leg, what we're going to do is start to decrease. So we need to make this round smaller. So I have 20 stitches right now, and at the end of this round, I'm going to have 15 stitches. So the pattern is one, one, three, and four together. One, one, three, and four together. You're gonna to repeat this pattern five times. So you're gonna see I have 15 bands. So going in your first stitch, not where it's getting pulled, you're gonna add one rubber band. Our next stitch, one rubber band. Now you're going to grab your third stitch, go through, you're going to go in towards inside of your foot here, and you're going to go through stitch four. So I have three and four on my hook, grab a single band, and you're going to bring it through those two stitches. Put the end on your hook so you have three loops, and you're going to slide together. Let's repeat. One, one in the next, and you're gonna take stitch three and stitch four, and we're gonna stitch together. So this is how you decrease. Slide it through, and what I like to do is with my finger, I'm gonna push the foot to the center of that band. So you can see with my finger, I just moved it to the center to relieve some of the tension. Put on your hook and slide through. And repeat again. One in the first, one in the second, and stitch three and stitch four together. And again. One, one, three, and four together. And you're repeating this pattern one more time. One, one, three, and four together. You should have 15 stitches now. I'm going to remove my C-clip, 
and attach it to the band around my hook. For round eight and round nine of the foot, what we're going to do is single crochet in each chain around. So I'm just going to add one rubber band in each chain. So each of my piles here have 15 bands. So at the end of these rounds, you should have 15 stitches. I'm gonna do the first round with you and then you're gonna pause the video to do the next one. So bringing a rubber band through each chain. One. I'm not sure if I said I have 15 bands in each pile here. So just bringing one single band through each chain. Moving on to the next chain with one. All the way around. So you should have 15 stitches. I'm going to remove my stitch marker, add it to my band, and you can pause the video and continue round nine and then come back to me when you're done. For round 10 of the leg, I'm going to change color now and I'm going to do two rounds of the yellow and then two rounds of the green, the neon green. Pick the colors that you would like to use. The pattern's going to be one, two and three together. So we're going to decrease and make this round smaller. So the pattern is one, two and three together. One, two and three together. At the end of this round you're going to have ten stitches. So you're going to repeat this pattern five times. Because I'm changing color I'm going to start off by going in my first stitch and grabbing my single band and I'm going to do a slip stitch which is the same thing like doing a slip knot. So I'm going to bring it through all of the loops that are around my hook, grabbing the end and sliding through. This is so your rounds are going to be nice and neat when you're done. Sorry, shaking the camera. So if you didn't do that, you're going to have crooked lines. So try to remember to start off when you're changing color to do a slip stitch. So I'm going to do it again, going in the first chain grabbing a single rubber band and bringing it through all of the loops. Instead of just doing this, you want to, I promise I'm going to do it now, going in the first stitch, you want to grab the end and bring them through all of the loops, put on your hook and slide through. And now grabbing stitch two and stitch three and stitch together, going through all of the loops there, the stitches, put on your hook and slide through. Start again, one band in the first chain, stitch two and stitch three together. Bring it through, put on your hook and slide through. Repeat, one, stitch two and stitch three together. And repeat. One, two, and three together. Repeat one more time. One, stitch two, and stitch three together. Bring them through. I'm using my thumb to push the foot to the center of that band. Grab the end and bring it through. You should have 10 stitches. I'm just going to count this with you. This is your first stitch, not this one right here. That's your little slip knot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The one on your hook is 10. 
Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band around your hook. For rounds 11 to rounds 18 of the uh, leg, what we're going to do is just single crochet in each chain. So you're just going to add one rubber band in each chain. I set my pattern for you to see. I'm going to do a second row of yellow, two rows of my green, two rows of my yellow, two rows, and I'll end up with just one row at the end. You're going to see this is my other leg. At the end, we're going to stuff it, and on your last rubber band around row 18, you're going to do a slip knot. So what I'm going to show you right now how to do the slip knot, I'm going to do one round with you and then you're going to pause the video to complete it. So you're just going to go with your last rubber band when you finish row 18, and you're going to bring that rubber band through all of the loops, and you're going to tie it off with a slip knot. So just like that. Okay, so I'm going to do the first round with you, round 11. Each pile here has 10 rubber bands. So I'm going to go in my first chain, adding one rubber band. Next chain with one. All the way around. And then I'll start off round 12 with you. So you can start off with changing a color if you are changing a color. Just to show you the slip stitch again. Just adding one rubber band to each chain. You could stuff the foot now. I don't like to. I like to do it at the end. So it's up to you. So you should have 10 stitches all the way around. I'm going to move my stitch marker and add it to my band. And I'm going to start off with my next color. So I'm going to go in the first chain with my change color, bring it through all of the loops, put on your hook, and slide through. Same thing like doing a slip knot. And then you can just go all the way around. So now you can pause the video, come back to me when you're done. Just if you are changing color, don't forget to start off with that slip stitch. You can go all the way around. Come back to me when you're done all the rounds. So now I am done with the leg. And what I'm going to show you is how to stuff it, how to close it off. You're going to need five rubber bands. I'm going to use the yellow because that's what I ended with. Before I do all of that, some people are having problem with this opening. This is where you close off or start our next round, sorry. This is where you start a next round. You can just loosen up some of the tension on some of the bands. So you're going to see I have this hole right here. That was from me using a C-clip and pulling too hard to take it off. So basically at the end of the band, you're just going to loosen up some of the tension. I'm just grabbing the bottom of this green band right here. So just follow your bands and you can just loosen up some of the tension because all the tension is at the ends of the rubber bands. So I'm just grabbing them, following, you're going to see this little knot at the end for this green one. I'm just going in and just going to use my hook and just loosen it up so the hole is not so big. It's just pulling of the rubber bands. That's all. I'm going to do one more. So just grabbing the end of this yellow one right here at the bottom here, this knot, if this happens. And it should be okay. Now you're going to take some stuffing, and I'm going to use a pencil to help me to push it in or a pen, whatever you have. Just make sure the pen's closed. And I'm going to use my fingers first. I'm going to push it down. I'm going to roll it. So 
so I know I don't have too much inside and just adding some to the leg. Don't overstuff it. And when I roll it, the excess amount comes out. And now you're just going to end up shaping it. You're going to see that there's going to be like a flat piece and you're just going to move out the foot and just form a little foot, making sure that both are about the same size. So now I'm going to close off this piece here. So I'm just going to bring this slip knot to the side here and I'm going to go through my first two rubber bands, uh, sorry, my first two stitches. So I'm just going to put them even and you're going to see one chain here on one side and I'm going to go through the next chain on the opposite side and I'm going to bring a rubber band through and do a slip knot. Going through the next two chains, grabbing another band and doing a slip knot. The next two chains, and opening it up here, and I go through the next two chains. And now I'm going to go through the last two, which is kind of the same chain as that one. I'm just going to go through the edges here. And bring it to the side, kind of. So now what's going to happen is I need to fix my foot to the even of this closing. So I had it kind of twisted. So just so that they're flat like this. So you can pause the video and make yourself another foot. I'm going to show you how to do the arms. And what we're going to do is take five rubber bands and we're going to do five single crochets in the magic ring. So I'm going to use my loom. So take your loom and turn it upside down. I'm going to take a single band, the gray color, and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. Now with your hook, you're going to take a single band, grab the end on your hook, pull it through, and grab the other end. Now you're going to bring this band over the band that's at the end of your hook as if you're doing a slip knot, and bring it to the side. There's our first single crochet. Now we're going to go back in, grab a next rubber band, our second one, and bring it through. Put on your hook and now you have three loops. You're going to bring these two bands over and bring it to the side. Let's go for our third. Put your hook back in, grab the end, and bring it through and put on your hook. Now bring these two bands over and bring it to the side. Go back in for our fourth band, grab it and bring it through and put on your hook. Bring these two bands over and bring it to the side. Going for our fifth, <laughs> going for our fifth stitch, grab it, bring it through, put on your hook and bring these two bands over. Now I'm going to use a C-clip for my stitch marker to help me. It's always wise to use something. Take it off your loom and now you should have five stitches. I'm just going to move my stitches around and I have one, two, three, four and the one on my hook is my fifth. For round two of the arms what we're going to do is increase on every stitch. So we're going to make this round bigger. At the end of the round, you're going to have 10 stitches. So the pattern is two, 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 two. So I'm going to use 10 rubber bands and I'm going to put two 
rubber bands one at a time in each stitch. So going through your first stitch with one rubber band. Go back in that same stitch with another rubber band. Going on to our second stitch now, adding two rubber bands one at a time. One, go back in, and two. Going in the next stitch with one. Go back in with another. Going on to our next stitch, adding two rubber bands, one at a time. Go back in. And our last stitch, where our stitch marker is, one and go back in, and two. You should have 10 stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One on your hook is 10. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band around your hook. For round three of the arm, what we're going to do is increase on every second stitch. So increase is making the round bigger. So the pattern is one, two, one, two, one, two. You're repeating this pattern five times. So going in the first stitch with one band, Going in our second stitch, you're going to add two rubber bands, one at a time. Go back in. And on our next stitch, one rubber band. So you're repeating the pattern. One, and the next stitch, two. One, and back in, two. One. Next stitch, two. Next stitch, start again, one. Next stitch, two. Start again, one. Two. You should have 15 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The one on your hook is 15. I'm going to remove my C-clip and attach it to the band around my hook. For rounds 4 and 5 of the arm, what we're going to do is single crochet in each chain around. So you're just adding one rubber band in each chain. One, 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 all the way around. Each pile has 15 bands, and at the end of each round, you should have 15 stitches. So I'm gonna do the first one with you. Round four, I'm gonna add one rubber band, one in the first chain, one in the second, all the way around, just adding one rubber band. all the way around, one. You can count your stitches. You should have 15 stitches. When you're done counting, you can remove your stitch marker and add it to the band around your hook. And you can pause the video and do rounds five. Come back to me when you're done. For round six of the arm, what we're going to do is start to decrease. So at the end of this round, we're gonna have 10 stitches. So the pattern is one in the first, one band in the first chain, we're going to stitch two and three together. 
one, two, and three together. One, two, and three together. You're going to repeat this pattern five times. So going in your first stitch with one rubber band. I'm changing color, so I'm going to go through all the bands that are around my hook and do a slip stitch. Same as a slip knot. Going in two and grabbing three, and we're going to stitch together. Move the, arm, the hand down here to release some tension and start the pattern again. One, two, and three together. Oh, sorry, two and three together. Repeat one. <laughs> one, one, two, and three together. One, two, and three together. And one more time. One, two, and three together. So you should have 10 stitches. So not starting at this little slip knot. One, the yellow, you can see, don't count here. This is your first chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the one on my hook is 10. I'm going to remove my C clip and I've attached it to so many bands here and attached to the one on my hook. I'm going to move this around. For round 7 to round 15 of the arm, what we're going to do is just single crochet in each chain around. So you're just going to be adding one rubber band to each chain. So I'm going to start off round 7. I'm going to do round 7 with you and start you off on round 8 because I'll be changing color. So to remind you, if you are changing color, to start off your next color with a slip stitch. So I'm going to go on my first chain, which is not this gray one you see here that it's being pulled. This is your slip knot because I changed color. I'm going in my first chain with my first rubber band. And I'm just going to put on my hook and slide through. Going on your next chain with one. One. So each pile has 10, uh, 10 rubber bands. And at the end of each round, you should have 10 stitches. One. one all the way around with one. Now, you should have 10 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the one on your hook is 10. I am going to purposely leave my C-clip there and add a new one. Just in case I get distracted, I can just count to make sure I have enough rounds with my C-clips. So starting off round 8 with you, I'm going to go in my first chain, not where it's getting pulled and not where my C-clip is. I'm going to change the color. So I'm just going to bring it through all of the bands that are around my hook and slide through. Going in the next chain, and continue this all the way around. On rounds 15, with your last rubber band, you want to do a slip knot to tie it off, the same way we did with the legs. So pause the video, come back to me when you're done. Now that you're finished the arm, Ah, I left two C-clips in. Just going to remove those really fast. Now that you're done, I'm going to put some stuffing in. I don't want to put a lot in the arms. 
I don't want them overfilled just so they sit nicely on the body. So I'm just going to put some in the hands, in the hand part, and just a little bit in the actual arm. I just kind of want the arm a little bit flat. And I'm going to close it off the same way we did with the legs. So I'm going to go pull the, um, this original slip knot to close it off. I'm going to pull it to the side and I'm going to go through the first two stitches here on this chain here and make sure I'm grabbing right beside the slip knot. Grabbing a band and we're going to do a slip knot. You're going to go in the next chain beside it the next two from one end to the other. Grabbing a band and bring it through and do a slip knot. My next two right beside it. I'm just going to push this down a bit. So right beside through the chains on either end. Right beside that. And I'm going to go right beside that. And that should be enough. We can make the hand stick out a little bit. So pause the video and make yourself another arm. For round one of the ear, this is what it's going to look like. We are going to do five single crochets in the magic ring. So turn your loom upside down. I'm going to take one single band and wrap it around one of the pegs three times. One, two, and three. Now with your hook, reach in, grab one band and bring it through. Grab the band, the loop, and bring it over and bring it to the side. Going in with our second band, grab, bring it through, put on your hook and grab these two bands and bring it over. Bring it to the side. Go back in for your third band, bring it through, bring these two bands over, bring it to the side. Go back in for your fourth, bring it through, Put on your hook and bring these two bands over. Bring it to the side. Go back in with your fifth. Bring it through on your hook and bring these two bands over. And you want to attach your stitch marker to the band around your hook. Remove off the loom. I'm going to move my bands around so that they're nice and even. And you should have five stitches. One, two, three, four. The one on your hook is five. For round two of the ear, what we're going to do is increase on every stitch. So we'll be adding two rubber bands to each chain. At the end of this round, you're going to have 10 stitches. So going in your first chain and use one rubber band. Bring it through on your hook and slide through. Going back in that same stitch with a second rubber band. Going in the next chain, you're going to add two rubber bands, one at a time. Going back in, on your next stitch, adding two, go back in for your second. The next stitch, add two, back in, And your last stitch, add two. Go back in. You should have ten stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the one on your hook is ten. Remove your C clip or your stitch marker. For 
For round three of the ear, what we're going to do is increase on every second stitch. So the pattern is one, two, one, two, one, two. So at the end of this round, you're going to have 15 stitches. So I'll be using 15 rubber bands. You're repeating this pattern five times. So going in your first stitch with one. Our second stitch will have two bands. Just put them one at a time. Go back in. All right, start again, one. Our next stitch, two. Go back in. And start again, one. Our next stitch, two. And again, start again, one. Two. Our next stitch, one, and our last stitch has two. You should have 15 stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15 is on your hook. Round four of the ear, what we're going to do is increase on every third stitch. So the pattern is one, one, two, one, one, two, all the way around. You should repeat this pattern five times, and at the end of this round, you'll have 20 stitches. So going in your first stitch with one. Our next stitch, one. Our next stitch, two. Go back in and repeat one, next one, one, next one, two. Go back in and repeat next stitch, one, next stitch, one. And our third stitch, two. Go back in. Then again, one, one, two. And repeat one more time. One, one, two. You should have 20 stitches. Just make sure it's nice and flat. Remove your stitch marker. For round five and round six, what you're going to do is you're gonna add one rubber band to each chain all the way around. So each pile has 20 bands. So at the end of this round, you'll have 20 stitches. I'm gonna do round five with you and then you're gonna pause the video and do round six. So going in my first stitch, not where it's getting pulled, and add one rubber band. All the way around, just one in each stitch.
So you should have 20 stitches. I'm going to remove my C-clip, attach it to my band, and you can pause the video and do round six. When you get to your last rubber band on round six, you're going to do a slip knot. So just going in because we're done with the rounds for our ears. So just bring it through all the bands that are around your hook, grab the end, and tie it off. Now if it's on, you can just undo, like if you already did it and you didn't do a slip knot, just remove your hook and remove the band. And then go in and do a slip knot. My apologies. Tie it off, remove your C-clip, and basically you're going to use 10 bands now and we're going to do the same kind of thing what we did with the legs and the arms. So I'm just going to fold this in half. I want to make sure that it's nice and even. So I'm going to put my slip knot to the edge here and with my hook I'm going to go in, just to show you, I'm going to go through the chains that has that slip knot on. I'm going to use 10 bands. I'm going to close them off so I'm going to do a slip knot on each chain one and my next two just making sure that they're nice and even another slip knot all the way down next two chains these are the bands that we're going to use to sew on to the head and I have two more chains here bring it through so that completes all the chains on the top. Right here at the end, I'm going to take the two chains that are at the side of the ear and bring a band. So basically I'm tying right at the side. And that's what it should look like. For round one of the body, I'm going to start off with my yellow color. So my pattern again is going to be two rows of yellow, two rows of green. I'm going to do five stitches in the magic ring. So grabbing one band, I'm going to use the bottom part of my loom, so make sure you turn your loom upside down. Take a single band and wrap it around three times. One, two, and three. You're going to reach in, again, just grabbing one band, bring it through, bring it over and bring it to the side. Go back in or second band, put on your hook, bring these two bands over and bring it to the side. Our third, bring it through, bring these two bands over, bring it to the side. Reach back in. Our fourth stitch, bring these two bands over and bring it to the side. Our last, our fifth, I'm going to use a C-clip, remove off the loom. You should have five stitches, move your bands around, one, two, three, four, and the one on your hook is your fifth. Round two of the body, what we're going to do is increase on each chain. So we're just going to make the round bigger, so you're going to add two rubber bands to each chain. You're repeating this pattern five times. At the end of this round, you're going to have 10 stitches. So put your hook through the first one, the first chain, adding one rubber band. Go back in that same chain with your second rubber band. Moving on to your next chain, we're going to add two rubber bands, one at a time. Go back in. Our next chain, 
adding two. Our next chain, two. And our last chain, two. You should have 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. For round three of the body, I'm gonna be changing color. So I'm going to, the pattern is one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way around. You're gonna repeat this pattern five times. At the end of this round, you're gonna have 15 stitches. So because I'm changing color, I'm gonna start off with my slip stitch. So I'm gonna go in the first chain with one rubber band and I'm gonna slide it through. All the bands that were on my hook, grab the end and bring it through. My next chain will have two rubber bands. Go back in. My hands are like cold. Next chain with one. My next chain with two. My next chain with one. My next chain with two. At the end, you should have 15 stitches. One, next chain, two. One. If at any point in time I'm going too fast, please pause the video, continue the round, and come back to me when you're done. So now you should have 15 stitches. So I'm not counting where my C-clip is. I'm not counting this little slip knot that you can see here. My actual chain, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. For round four of the body, what we're going to do is increase, I'm going to use green again. We're going to increase off every third stitch. So the pattern is one, one, two, one, one, two, all the way around. When you get to the end where your stitch marker is, you'll be adding two rubber bands. At the end of this round, you'll have 20 stitches. So going in your first stitch with one, our second stitch, one. And our third stitch will have two. Go back in. You're just repeating the same thing five times around. So our next stitch will have one, one in the next, and two in your third. Going back in. And repeat one, one, two, and repeat one, one in the next, and two in the next. Repeat, one, one, two, so you should have, oops, you should have 20 stitches after you count, you can move your stitch marker and add it to the band around your hook. For round five of the body, I'm going to be switching color. So I'm going to start off with a slip stitch. At the end of this round, you're going to have 25 stitches. So the pattern is one, 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 two, one, 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 two. 
So every fourth chain, you're going to be adding two rubber bands. So you're going to repeat this pattern five times. So going in your first stitch with one band. Oh, slip knot, uh, slip stitch. Ah, sorry. Going in the first chain, changing color. I forget. Grabbing the end, bringing it through. Our second stitch with one. Our third stitch with one. And our fourth, adding two, one at a time. Uh, start again. One, two, our next one is three with one. Uh, sorry, our fourth stitch will have two. No, I just want to start to laugh. Start again. One. Our next stitch, one. The third is one. And your fourth will have two. And just repeat this two more times. So you should have 25 stitches. You can remove your C-clip and attach it to the band around your hook. For round six of the body, what we're going to do is increase on every fifth stitch. So the pattern is one, 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 two. You're going to repeat this pattern five times. So again, one in your first chain, one in your second, one in your third, one in your fourth, and two in your fifth. So I'm gonna go in my first chain, again because I had, I have this little slip knot. This is your first chain. So going in the first with one. Our second with one. Our third with one our fourth with one, and our fifth will have two. And you'll repeat one, 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 and two. And repeat again. One, 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 two. You'll see that the tension here, you can see where I have the C-clips. That's where it's a bigger opening. Right now at the end of this round, you should have 30 stitches. So I'm just gonna remove my C-clip 
and I'm just going to show you. All you're going to do is relieve some of the tension. So this band is pretty loose. So I'm just going to follow the band to the end. Grab the green bands and just give it a little tug. That's from me being rough with taking off my stitch marker. And that's all you're doing. For rounds 7 to round 17, you're just going to single crochet so you're in each stitch. So you're just adding one rubber band to each chain. And it's fluff everywhere. So I'm going to change color. I'm going to do one round with you and then you're going to pause the video to complete each of the rounds. I'm going to go in my first chain, not where it's getting pulled, adding one rubber band. Each pile should have 30 stitches. Start off with a slip stitch if you're changing color. So at the end of each round, you'll have 30 stitches. Going in the next chain with one, just adding one rubber band to each chain around. Remember, if you're getting tired or sore, take a break. Get up, stretch around, and then come back to me. This is a big project. You don't want to, you don't have to finish right away. Like me, I'll just stay awake finishing things. When you do change colors in these rounds, just re try to remember to start off with a slip stitch um, just so that the rounds are nice and neat and even when you're done. Now I'm just going to leave my C-clip here just to count my rounds. So each new round I'm going to add a C-clip just so I know that I'm did I so, sorry, so I know I did the right amount. So you're going to pause the video, come back to me when you're done. For round 18 of the body, what we're going to do is decrease now. So I am going to use 25 bands and the pattern is one, 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 stitch five and six together. So it would be one, 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 five and six together. Did I do that right? One in the first, one in the second, one in the third, one in the fourth, and stitch five and six together. You're going to repeat this five times all the way around. At the end of this round, you're going to have 25 stitches. So going in the first chain with one rubber band, our second chain with one, our third chain with one, our fourth with one, and stitch five and stitch six together. And repeat again. One, 
one in the second, one in the third, one in the fourth, and stitch five and stitch six together. And just repeat this pattern three more times. and six together. Two. Stitch three is one. Stitch four is one. And five and six together. So we're just making this round smaller now. And I'm going to repeat one more time. And our last two stitches stitch together, five and six. We should have 25 stitches. I'm just going to move my stitches around, remove my C clip. And attach. For round 19 at the body, we are going to decrease and make this round smaller. At the end of this round, you'll have 20 stitches, so I'll be using 20 rubber bands. The pattern is 1, 1, 1, 4, and 5 together. 1, 1, 1, 4, and 5 together, all the way around. So I'm going in my first stitch and I'm changing color, so I'm going to start off with a slip stitch. My second stitch with one. My third stitch has one. And now take four and five and stitch together. You're going to repeat this pattern five times around. Going in again, starting again, one, 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 four, and five together. And repeat. One, 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 four, and five together. And you're just repeating this pattern two more times. Four and five together. And again. So you should have 20 stitches. I'm just going to move my bands around. Remove my C clip and attach it. For rounds 20 to 24 of the body, what you're going to do is just single crochet in each chain around. So you're just going to add one rubber band to each chain. At the end of each round, you'll have 20 stitches. So in each pile, I have 20 rubber bands. I'm gonna do the first round with you, and I'm gonna start you off on the second round just to remind you to do a slip stitch if you are changing color. So just adding one rubber band to each chain around. This, uh, when you finish round 24, that will be the last round of the body. So you're going to take your last rubber band and you're going to do a slip knot to tie it off. And then you'll just put the body to the side.
So I'm going to leave my C clip on just to count my rounds to make sure I did the right amount. I'm going to add another C clip and I'm going to start you off on the second, on the, uh, the next round, 21. So starting off and changing color, slide through. And that's how you're going to close it off with the last rubber band on round 24. So you'll just continue to go around with one single band in each chain. So you can pause the video, come back to me when you're done, when you finish the rounds. 